Welcome back to the Top Notch Documentaries YouTube channel. Robert William Fisher is a fugitive who is currently wanted for the savage and inconceivable crime of taking the lives of his own wife and two young children. Fisher was on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list until 2021 when he was ultimately removed from the list because he no longer fits the top 10 criteria. In the years that he's eluded the authorities, there has been no real progression in the case. Despite the serious nature of the crime that Fisher stands accused of, this lack of substantial leads and public tips has left the FBI re-evaluating the case and they made the decision to replace Fisher with more recent wanted fugitives. However, the case isn't going to close until Fisher is apprehended. Here is the story of Robert William Fisher. I hope you enjoy. It was in the morning on April 10th of 2001 in Scottsdale, Arizona, when a loud explosion caught everyone's attention in a regular suburban neighbourhood. The explosion had been heard from many miles away, and as people came outside to investigate, smoke could be seen rising from a home. It was the home of Robert Fisher and his family. The family was well known and liked in the community. They looked like the ideal American nuclear family. The media arrived on scene and firefighters also pulled up to put out the fire. News footage from the time showed the destruction and chaos at the property. The smell of burnt human remains was noticed as firefighters fought through the flames and eventually located the bodies of a female and two young children. A check of the property owners revealed their names. They were Mary Fisher, Brittany Fisher and Bobby Fisher. The only person who was unaccounted for was Robert Fisher. He instantly became a missing person and everyone who knew the family became concerned for his safety. Given the suspicious nature of the explosion and the fire, police had many questions like how did the house explode and where was one of its residents, Robert Fisher? He had last been seen leaving work the previous day and his car was not at the house. As the investigation into the cause of the explosion and resulting fire continued, police became highly suspicious of Robert and eventually found evidence which would place him in the frame as the sole cause of the explosion. Investigators quickly determined that the fire had been started deliberately, with accelerant having been poured all around the house. A candle and an unscrewed gas pipe combination in the hallway was the source of the destruction following this. The bodies of Mary, Brittany and Bobby were all laying in their beds. They hadn't even attempted to flee the house following the blaze, and this raised even more suspicion. At autopsy, it was quickly established that they hadn't died from smoke inhalation. Rather, they had all been murdered. Mary had had her throat slit before being shot, and Brittany and Bobby had both had their throats cut. Upon learning these gruesome revelations, police tried to keep everything hushed, given the fact that Robert had not shown up to work or made any effort to contact them. He was officially a missing person and police were hopeful that he would soon appear and act shocked by the whole situation. They wanted to catch him, arrest him and then confront him with the truth. In reality, Robert never planned to return or attempt to fool the authorities with any fake story. He had just taken out his family in the most cruel way possible and now he had gone on the run following the crime. Robert William Fisher was now a prime suspect in the fire. It was now a major crime. The news of a triple murder was out for the public to see and everyone in the community was stunned by the story. There was nothing noticeably wrong with Robert or his family. His and Mary's relationship seemed fine and the family were noticeably religious, playing a big part in the local church community. Robert had been described as a model citizen and a faithful Christian, but the evidence at the scene told a much different story. The crime was well planned and Robert had previously served in the military and had been a firefighter in California, so fires were his speciality. The public was intrigued and horrified by the actions of this man, and the story became a massive true crime case in Arizona. The question as to why Robert took the lives of his family remained a huge topic of speculation, and with more details surfacing by the day, some answers would come to light. The image of a perfect religious family was shattered when details emerged about what was happening behind the scenes of Robert and Mary's relationship. Robert presented such a well-crafted image of a church-going man who was always on the ball. However, behind the scenes, he was majorly controlling toward Mary and the kids. Friends of his claimed that he was sadistic whilst hunting animals in the wild. 
He enjoyed killing, and this was yet another red flag. This guy was a ticking time bomb. On the night of April 9th, Robert and Mary had been heard arguing by their neighbours. I'm sure that the neighbours didn't think too much of this, given that every couple argues every once in a while. Investigators theorised that once Mary and the kids went to sleep, Robert festered on thoughts of taking them all out. The argument may have been Robert's excuse for the crime, and many still speculate on whether the crime was planned out, or an impulsive act, truly a spur of the moment decision. Did Robert know that this day would come, and so was ready for the aftermath, a life on the run? Or was he just completely acting on hateful, anger-based emotion? The answer may never be known. What is known is that Robert ended up withdrawing the max amount of money from his bank account around 10.40pm on the night that he snuffed out his family. He had likely taken them out prior to this. Robert withdrew the money and vanished into thin air. He was driving Mary's car and he had his dog with him. Apparently, he loved his dog more than his family. On April the 21st, Mary's car was located at a national park in northern Arizona. Robert had abandoned it and police initially felt as though he may be hiding out in surrounding caves, which were all around the national park. Searches turned up nothing. Robert William Fisher has been on the run, missing for more than 20 years. Over the years, factual details and theories have been put out there. One of these factual details was that Robert had had an affair, and this severely damaged his and Mary's marriage. Mary was very annoyed upon being told by Robert about this affair, and was confrontational about this fact toward him. She wanted to divorce him, and investigators felt like this could have been a motive for the triple slaying. The family unit was important to Robert, according to those close to him. To Robert, Mary threatening divorce put the family unit in jeopardy. Mary had excessive wounds, both stab and gunshot. These extreme wounds indicated that she was Robert's main focus of the crime. One of the theories in this case is that Robert is now deceased. Had he taken himself out following the crime? No real case leads point to this conclusion, but without a body, this cannot be confirmed. Another theory is that Robert didn't actually commit this crime. I don't believe this theory just given the timeline of events and details, but some still side with this viewpoint. Just given what I've researched, Robert sure looks guilty though. If Robert is still out there, then he's sure done a good job. Robert can easily blend in given his average look, and he might be living next door to you. Hopefully, if he is still out there, he can be apprehended in the near future and stand trial for the crimes that he's accused of. This case is a complex one, and sightings have been reported all across the United States and the world even. These leads have mostly led nowhere. In 2021, as mentioned at the start of this video, he was taken off the FBI's top 10 most wanted list. The lack of promising leads had left everyone completely baffled as to the status of Robert. But despite this time gap, without credible leads along with his removal from the FBI list, leads continue to flood into the authorities to this very day. This has been the story of Robert William Fisher. As always, thank you for watching.